St. Louis. And here's today's chuckle. From the Western White House in Palm Springs, as President Eisenhower and comedian Bob Hope heat up for a round of golf, a stray drive from another fairway narrowly missed them. Quipped Hope, either he's a Democrat or he saw my last picture. <laughs> Hey, step on it, kid. We'll be on in a second. We haven't got time, Wendell. We're on the 10 o'clock shift. Hey, big deal. How often we get to see ourselves on television? I don't want to see myself. Why not? I'm not very interesting. I'm not the dashing type. Yeah, well, I am interesting. And reeking with dash. <laughs> so, how do I look? Like a rookie? I hope not. Hey, not bad for off the rack. Yeah? Yeah. Come on in here. Someday I'll have my tailor taper it in here. Show off your figure. Oh, yeah. Dames love that. Suck in your gut. <laughs> now you look like one of St. Louis's finest. And remember, kid, this is the big time, okay? This ain't the farm. You and me were going straight to the top. Mayor, for me, what would you like? I'd like to let out my breath, if it's all right. <laughs> you got it. Oh, oh, it's on. Come on. Ooh. Lee Roberts oh, yes. has a report here. Yeah, that's the guy. With our follow-up series on members of MASH... 4077. In Korea, we found them facing the horrors of war. Now home, how are they facing civilian life? Last week, we talked with Dr. Hawkeye Pierce. Oh, yeah. Hey, let, let me show you a picture. See? That's Hawkeye right oh, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's Colonel uh, Blake. See, I'm standing right next to him. Yeah, he got killed, you know. Great guy. And here's uh, Major Houlihan. See the one with the big blouse? This week, we look in on former corporal now rookie law officer, Radar O'Reilly. Walter, my name is Walter. What about Corporal O'Reilly? Has he found the American dream? We'll return after these messages. The brand new... Jeez. Hey, come on, we're gonna be late. I know we should have taken a day off. John, where's my dough? Your dough? Yeah, Stan Musial, bat it, 337. You owe me five bucks. That dough? <laughs> yeah. Check's in the mail. Hey, wait a minute. Officer O'Reilly, that stolen vehicle 303 report. 303 is on your desk, ma'am. The 505 is in your right. file. Right. But you only give serial numbers for two. It's a motorcycle, ma'am. Tired. <laughs> hey, O'Reilly, no. you were with the medics, right? I just frisked this guy for drugs. Are these goofballs? No. <laughs> And don't bother frisking him for months. <laughs> oh, you're missing yourself on television. Oh, come on, we're going to let him An Indian was riding a At motorcycle? the make of the motorcycle, it was a... Look who's here, Ozzy and Harry. You guys aren't watching this stuff. So how do I look on TV? You look better on radio. <laughs> Where is Sergeant Sowers? On the phone with the commissioner. He never hears anything when he's talking to the commissioner. Walter, many veterans are seeking their fortunes in the big cities. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As I recall, though, in Korea, you told me you couldn't wait to get back to your farm in Iowa. Oh, I still can't, sir. Well, what happened? Oh, subsidies. See, that's where the, uh, the government pays you lots of money for not growing things. And uh, uh, that didn't seem right to me. I want to work my farm. So I started uh, growing things. And? Uh, things died. I, I lost the farm. Oh, I see. Yes, sir. Lost the farm, the equipment, everything. You know, the hardest thing I ever had to do in my whole life was say goodbye to Eleanor. I'm going to miss you, Eleanor. And I know you'll miss me. But listen, don't worry, because if it's the last thing I do, I'm going to buy this farm back. So, uh... Oh. Oh. I know. <laughs> so, after losing the farm, you came here to St. Louis. Yeah, well, uh, no, first I had to find a place for my mom to stay, you know. Uh, luckily, Aunt Lucille's husband, Arthur, died down in Davenport, <laughs> so there was room. Boy, <laughs> those two have a lot in common, you know. They're like two peas in a pod. They both love chow mein, and they're both having superfluous hair removed by electrolysis. <laughs> <laughs> then I, uh... And then you joined the police force. And then, yeah, uh, that's where my cousin comes in. Uh, oh, all right, watch this gang. Here we come. Okay, Wendell Mickle, John, he got me on the force. <laughs> I may faint. You'd be lucky. <laughs> what the is this? Howdy, duty time. <laughs> this set is 
for emergency use only. Why? There's a city out there seething with crime. Thieves, drunks, hookers, bunko artists. You're watching television. <laughs> Hit the bricks! <laughs> I'm protecting and serve! Pickle John, you and the little John. Go oh, right, sir. Right. <laughs> Keep your eyes open on 4th Street. There's been a rash of jaywalkers. Think you can handle that? <laughs> Hey, Flatfoot, you make a better door than window. Oh, well, here you are. Yes, sir. An officer of the law, a new bridegroom, uh... yeah, Oh, no. No, that's, uh, that's over. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. If you don't want to talk about it... I'd rather not. Thanks a lot. See, when we were on our honeymoon, we were passing through St. Louis here on our way to Gooseneck Falls. Well, that's just like Niagara Falls, except there's no water. That sounds like a nice spot. Yeah, well, I don't know. We never got there. I'm sorry. If, if this is too painful... It is, uh... See, uh, the next day, the feathers really hit the fan. <laughs> oh, if you'll pardon my French. <laughs> oh, geez, this is awful. I, uh, well, look, we could change the subject. I wish you would. I had to leave Sandy in the motel room, you know, when I uh, took the, the pickup truck over to get her greased. 12,000 miles. <laughs> oh, but oh, boy, when I got back, boy. Sweetheart? Sugar buns? <laughs> Dear Walter, thank you for the nice honeymoon so far. I love you, but I love Claude Grevy more. He will never be as nice and sweet and forgiving as you, but the truth is, he makes me lose the use of myself. <laughs> you keep the ring. I'll keep the pop-up toaster. Sincerely, your former loving wife, Sandy. Lost your farm, deserted by your bride, the American dream is shattered. Geez, that sounds kind of good the way you say that. <laughs> but actually, I, I kind of went crazy after, you know. I, I mean, I almost did something really foolish. I, I found myself wandering into this drugstore. Uh, no, I'm just browsing, thank you. There's a special on these genuine beaver bristles. They're very good brushes. Uh, yeah, uh, you hardly ever see a beaver with unruly hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, okay, thanks a lot. I'll see you around. Wait, I know why you're leaving. This happens all the time. You want to talk to a man clerk. <laughs> Oh, no, no, honest, I... You uh... can ask me for anything we stock. I'm not embarrassed. I'm trained. And golly, there's no need for you to be embarrassed either. Oh, well, I... Just well, I... open up your mouth and say it. What do you want? I'd like an overdose of sleeping pills, please. <laughs> what? And a small bottle of aspirin. Aspirin? Yeah, uh, sleeping pills give me a headache. <laughs> do you have a prescription? Uh, no. Well... Mm -hmm. Well, even if you did, the pharmacist is out sick today. Well, actually, he's at Rotary, but I'm not supposed to say so. If anyone asks you, he's out sick. Right. Sick. You can't be from St. Louis. I've never seen you before. No, I'm just passing through on my way to uh, Gooseneck Falls. Are you on your honeymoon? Uh, well, I was. Uh, she ran out on me. Oh. So that's why, well... Closing time, Mrs. Van Oster! <laughs> Come on, Ovi, I've got just the thing to cheer you up. No, uh... No, sit down, it's no trouble. Oh, please. A nice bowl of hot stew. I, I wish, I wish it wouldn't bother. Yeah, it's not bother. It's no bother, I'm just getting ready to throw it out anyway. <laughs> Here, try it. Well, 
It's okay. Eat the noodles. Oh, I like to leave the noodles to last. So do I. It gives you something to look forward to. Exactly. You know, we've got an awful lot in common. You know what I read? It takes 50 muscles to frown and only 20 muscles to smile. So you've got 30 muscles just sitting there. What else have they got to do? Come on, smile. Let's have a nice big smile for Victoria. Victoria? That's me. And you're? Oh, uh, Walter. Walter O'Reilly, a Tamayo. You're kidding! I'm from Keokuk. <laughs> Small world, isn't it? Sorry I ever left. Not me, no siree. I got my library card. I'm taking tap dancing lessons. And Walter, the opportunities are endless. <laughs> oh, good, you're getting to the noodles. <laughs> saved your life. Oh, yeah, more than that. She cheered me up. We're good friends. Well, Walter O'Reilly, you've had your share of disappointments, but you seem to be handling them. Well, thank you for being our guest. Thank you, sir. Next week... Oh, no! Oh, that's all right, we got to Hey! Hey, look at this. These are the guys who are on the television. Oh, no. oh. One was me, he was the other guy. Hey, sign my cat. Can I have your autograph? Oh, I don't know. We're on duty, you know. Walter, my boy, a celebrity's first duty is to his public. Oh, okay. And who can deny those innocent baby blues, those ruby rosebud lips, those... You live with your folks? It's a night. How about a movie and an American cheese sandwich? <laughs> Great, thanks. Okay. Oh, your pen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Walter, well, give me a pad. A what, a pad? Pad. Walter. Well, Wait a minute. Somebody swiped my wallet. It's gone. Jeez, I had my mash picture in there and everything. Walter, what are you doing? Don't go away, honey. Make it off. It's O'Reilly. I got a 709 pickpocket activity. One wallet gone. Walter, what are you? Nuts cop gets his pocket pick. You look like a fool. Name of the victim? Walter Rude. <laughs> Pickle John speaking. Victim unknown. Pickle John, put the dip on the back burner. This is big. No, that's right up my alley. Big disturbance backstage at the Elite Burlesque. Two strippers fighting. Come on. Wait a minute. Those ladies are naked. That's all new stuff to me. Never seen a naked woman? What about your honeymoon? Kept my eyes closed. <laughs> Next morning she was gone. Walter, get the hayseed out of your head. This is St. Louis, Walter. Gateway to the West. Life in the raw. No, wait, wait just a minute now. What about my wallet? Forget it. I can't. Uh, my mask picture was in there. That's irreplaceable. We were family. Oh. Oh, jeez! What? Oh, I had a lock of Eleanor's hair in that wallet. A lock of pig's hair in your wallet? It's an emotional thing. <laughs> You're very sensitive, Walter. Don't ever change. Dames love that. Dames. Wait a minute. Now, look, and, and look, let, let this be a lesson to you, okay? Like I always say, keep your wallet in your back pocket, button. <laughs> Wendell, they're not going to be naked, are they? Only if we're lucky. Oh, no, no, Wendell. Wendell. Uh, oh, so what do you... Come, come, uh, Wendell. What? It's about time. They're threatening to kill each other. Oh, oh damn! You better go through the stage door. <sighs> Why not through here? <laughs> There's no one here. Will you give your hernia a rest? No. No, no. You, you don't understand. I'm over my hernia. Listen. Valencia! Ah! Uh. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> you gotta stop him. 
Without Dixie and a dub, all I got is Harry and his hernia. Take it easy. As soon as they see the uniform, you'll calm down. Police! Police! <laughs> <laughs> Get in here and break it up! How many more lamps in there? None! All right, Officer O'Reilly, the coast is clear. <laughs> All right, so I missed by one. <laughs> All right, girls, we're coming in! No, wait, 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 wait. Procedural rule 40.1. Avoid involvement in domestic quarrels and restricted quarters. All right, girls, you're coming out! Come on out! <laughs> All right, that's not nice. Okay, stand over there. All right, what happened? Oh, this Dallas Brown is a liar and a thing. I didn't do. Well, Officer Mickle John, it's a Sergeant Sowell on the phone. Officer O'Reilly, you take over. Uh, well, uh, all right. Uh, now, uh, ladies, I'm going to uh, take down your, your statements here. I want you to speak slowly and clearly and one at a time, please. please. This miserable bard swiped my bird. Oh, take that putrid You would. You jealous of my Everything all right, Officer O'Reilly? Fine, thank you very much. Did you get that statement? Yes, I did. Deliver your folks? Don't forget to put that part down that she told me I have for that solicitor. Wait a minute, did you hear that? Wait a minute, shh. What? Did you hear that? What? Mr. Vole, huh? Is, uh, is sweetheart a male or a female? And he was of the male persuasion. Uh-huh. Uh, excuse me a second. I want to try something, if you don't mind. Be my guest. Naughty boy. Uh, no, no, don't scold him, uh, Mr. Vole. You see, uh, I'm sorry I'm not a girl dove. <laughs> you see, both the rock dove and the ring turtle dove's mating season lasts all year, but this year they're especially uh, social for some reason. <laughs> you better get them married as soon as possible, Mr. Vole. Thank you, officer. Uh, it's all in a day's work, ma'am. <laughs> hey, boss, I'm okay. Listen. <laughs> Wendell. Yeah. Look. I'm looking. Wendell, the kid. The kid with the broken arm we saw in front of the appliance store. That's the same kid we saw in front of Benfield's. So? Well, remember, he patted us on the back. Maybe. Yeah. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. No, hey, wait, hey, wait, no, hey, wait, hey, wait, hey, wait, hey, wait, hey, hold hey, on. Hey, We're police. Hey, hey. Wallets. Our wallets. I ain't got no wallets. Then why were you running? Because you were chasing me. Got us there, Wendell. <laughs> All right, what's your name? Elston Cranick, with a K. And I ain't never stole nothing in my life. All right, we'll soon find out. Just wait here. Bigelow. Oh, it's you, Mickle John. How many times have I told you not to call me at the office? <laughs> well, Bigelow, you're right. You ought to be on Ted Max Amateur Hour. You from this neighborhood? Yeah. What? Elston Cranick. Alice. Give me a make on Elston Cranick with a K. Juvenile. Suspected of pickpocket. Go. <laughs> 
Booze. None of your business. <laughs> well, if you live with your grandmother, where's your parents? My mom ran off when I was little. My old man's dead. Wow. Yeah. Hey, listen, can I go now? No, you just wait, wait there. Same to you, Bigelow. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, he's clean. And you better stay that way. Listen, uh, Walton. Yeah. I'm skipping lunch. I gotta get a trim. Okay. See you later, alligator. And remember, mum's the word. <laughs> hey, Elson, wait a minute. Uh, look, I'm really sorry about this. How about if I buy you a nice root beer float, huh? Nah. Oh, come on, it'll make me feel better. Oh, okay. Maybe just one. How about another one? No, thanks. This will do it. <laughs> Golly, I've never seen anybody drink four root beer floats before. Working in a drugstore, you see everything. Which, by the way, reminds me, we have a special on genuine imitation leather at Wallets, Walter, only 85 cents. Well, I'd like to think about that. Losing a wallet, that's a real crying out loud shame. Well, it's, it's not the wallet I miss so much, you know. It was that photograph of all my army buddies. Colonel Blake was in there, you know. He was like a father to me. My own father died when I was just a little baby. Hawkeye was in there, too. He was a great guy. Oh, Walter! Elston! You gonna arrest me? I am i don't know yet. Well, you said your old man died. Mine got it in Korea. I don't have anything to remind me of him. Couple guys in that picture kind of look like him. You were picking pockets looking for a picture of your dad? No, lady, I'm saving up for a polo pony. Hey, hey. Look, Elston, you may not realize it, but Walter here is just trying to help you. Okay, I'll tell you. It's just that me and my grandma, we gotta get by somehow. That's all. Uh, look, Elston, I'm pretty new at this, you know, and I'm probably going to get in a lot of trouble, but I'm not going to arrest you. Hey, that's me. Thanks. See you around. Uh, hold it. Listen, Elston, now uh, I want you to do something for me, okay? I knew it. Yeah. First, I want you to stay clean. And next, every Saturday, I want you to meet me here, just so we can talk about your life, you know, what's going on with you, where you're headed, stuff like that, huh? And you think I'm going to show up? Might be the smartest thing you ever did. See you Saturday. Yeah, I'll be here. <laughs> oh, listen, uh, can I put this stuff on my tab, please? Sure. Walter. Yeah. Oh, listen, I just want to tell you, Thanks. that was a real nice thing, what you did back there. Oh, no, no, it's nothing. No, really, I mean it. You're real nifty. Oh, thank you. Oh, boy. Jackpot. <laughs> Whoa! Stay tuned as a recently divorced college professor turns magazine editor and learns some lessons about single life on Second Edition, next.